like I'm in the sun or I'm in the shadow. I'm either blown out. Yeah, I'm in Kiev, meeting somebody named Mark, who hopefully I'll be working with him for quite some time. Whether or not this meeting pans out, this is a win for me because I was never gonna come out to Ukraine. And honestly, it was exactly what I needed. I needed to get out somewhere a little different looking than where I've been so far, and Kiev is stunning. We're gonna check out Kiev over the next week, and it's gonna be amazing. So, just as I was saying how happy I was to be in Ukraine and how beautiful it was, I got stopped. They were like, are you doing selfie videos or are you filming us? Because they were police, I got held for a minute. They wanted to kind of see what I had been filming. Yikes. This could be interesting. We'll be meeting up with Mark pretty soon. The whole wedding photo happening here in the loft. This is so wild. We're taking wedding photos and the mom started crying and came over to hug them. I forgot the cameras are supposed to be for special moments and not for every second of your waking nightmare that is your life. I think these are actual weddings. They're getting married today. <laughs> They're eating the ceremonial banana. It's a lot more than I bargained for. Oh, there he is. What's up, man? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Looking good. It's Mark, everybody. Now exchanging 500 euros into Rivna. And we are getting around 16,000 Rivna for this. Why did they give it to you this? I don't know why they give us 50s, but that feel like Pablo Escobar. So we were gonna go to GoPro and buy the new GoPro, but now Mark has an appointment, so he's giving me the cash to buy. This is what he's sending me to GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it. I took an Uber to what said was a GoPro store. Ended up being some flea market filled with like sketchy people, not savory looking characters hanging around outside. Then I went to two other shops, like camera stores on Google Maps, but like Google Maps doesn't auto translate. When I click through to websites on my phone, it doesn't auto translate. So I have no idea if these places actually sell GoPro. I'm just, I was 26,000 hryvnia, like a thousand dollars in cash, just floating in my backpack, which I've had before, but it just felt creepier knowing that it's in bundles. That makes it way worse to do bundles of cash. So I just had to come back here. I could keep looking. I'm definitely getting sick. I can feel my sinuses plugging up right now. Okay guys, well, this is the first real big thing. This guy right here. This is what I was wanting with that thing that I bought in Barcelona. This thing is a beast. I can't have the mic on top, the mic that's usually there, so you're listening to me just through the on-camera audio, and I know I have this beautiful, mellifluous, baritone voice that you would listen to through a pile of screaming cats and babies, but I'm just not gonna do that to you. Uh, this isn't gonna be a lot of me. I'm just gonna be out shooting a lot of B-roll, check out some sights of the city, just, this is a game changer. Um, let's go check out Keith and see what we can really get with this bad boy. Oh yeah. Hello. Oh, that's a sweet cat. Walk a little bit for me. Whoa, pretty. We're done. Ugh. I haven't been vlogging a whole lot because I've had the gimbal. But for this episode, we might have to do a little bit of this where 
I'm just describing things that happened in the past, and then we'll cut to it, which is not my favorite style. It's not something that I intended to do. It's not something that I plan to keep doing. Mark had a photo shoot with a professional photographer, and uh, I got to hang out and got to film that, so I had a lot of subjects going on. And that's obviously to cut together into Mark's video, but I'll use it for mine too. What's it like being a model, Mark? Boring. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a guy with a funny t-shirt. <laughs> Have a look at this at this wonderful shirt here. Oh my god, gorgeous man. <laughs> Why the f am I getting roasted for my shirt? Hey guys, coming to you from Poland. I'm editing this video as we speak right now. Mark didn't plan his Kiev trip to hang out with me or to shoot or to do anything exciting. He was there meeting his girlfriend and he had work to do. He was doing consulting work and everything. He had to run to Prague for two days. He was busy. This wasn't a leisure trip for him to Kiev. So everything kept getting canceled. He was even asking me, he's like, what do we do with this video now? What do you want me to talk about? That's when I finally felt competent. I was just like, hey man, the story is the story. Vlogging especially, and the truth is the best story you're gonna get. Uh, you can have different storylines, you can prep for that. I had one storyline where I kept getting smoothies, and in Kyiv, for some reason, all of the smoothies are warm. It was hot banana juice, very upsetting. But I recorded it every time, I had myself talking about it each time, and then I even talked to Mark and his girlfriend about it, and you know what, it didn't make the cut, and that's fine. But you just, you know, you run your own storylines, and then you just decide which one are gonna go in. If the story here is that you wanted to do all these crazy things, but your business and your work commitments took over, that's fine. Just tell them that. That's okay. In this whole coaching thing, I was like, here's what we can say about, you know, your week in Kiev. And we were going to this pedestrian bridge, this really beautiful pedestrian bridge. And I was like, yeah, I can shoot you there. And then we got to the bridge and there were guys jumping off the bridge. I mean, it's like bungee jumping, but it's where you tie the rope to one side of the bridge and jump off the other. So you're just swinging underneath. Mark goes, oh, there's my action. And I was like, well, yeah, but these are, this, those, that's not a company. That's not a, there's no insurance here. These are just guys with ropes tied to a bridge. You can't do that. And he asked him how much it was and they said 250. And I was like, 250 euros to jump off a bridge is a lot of money. That's a ton of money, $300. And then I realized they were talking about 250 Eurevnas, seven euros, seven euros to jump off of a bridge. That's what they were doing. These guys show up to a bridge, tie a bunch of ropes up there, put a step ladder up on one side of the bridge and just say, hey, seven bucks and you can jump. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's, that, that, yeah, that would be funny, Mark. That'd be really funny if you jumped. Okay, cool, let's go, let's go shoot our thing. And he's like, no, no, I'm serious. And I'm not as boring as I look. All right, guys, well, that's the story of, of uh, how I met Mark. the episode was gonna be lacking, so he suited up and jumped off a bridge. That's not okay. That's not normal behavior. <laughs> Anyways, that's what, uh, that's what the future holds. That's my future travel partner for some of these trips, so can't wait to see what I'm gonna do.
Thank you. You are so welcome. <laughs>